What up YouTube? We are back with another video. As you can see, we have 80,000 stubs. Yes, we do. We are gaining back. We've sold some cards since the last video. But listen, one of the most confusing things, at least it was for me, maybe it's not for you, was how does create a player work? Well, I can tell you, you have to exit out of everything, right? Exit out of Diamond Dynasty and you go right up here to where your guy is, right? You can pick you can go through your appearance, do whatever you want here. I, I just kind of randomly think. Make sure you put all your equipment on. As you can see, I have my equipment on. You can also do that on this screen right here, the loadout screen. But first, let's look at our player card. As you can see, it says I'm a starting pitcher. What? But that that's part of one of the com most confusing parts of this whole thing. I It took me a little bit of time to figure this out, but we finally figured it out. Let's go to loadout here. Right now, you can see I'm on default. I made another one called shortstop only because I was trying things out, right? But you can see here I got some quirks and stuff like that. But you can put your glass, you can put your stuff on right here. You can see, you can go through all this stuff, do all that. You can activate the guy. Uh, it says pitch types. I don't know exactly what that means exactly. Manage, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go. Let's go back to that. Let's go to manage here um yeah you can do that you can rename your loadout and stuff like that but as you can see i put a bunch of stuff in right but the most common question is how do you switch your position well it's this thing right here you click on this you go to position you can see i'm a center fielder now catcher now first baseman now starting pitcher relief pitcher and re um and another relief pitcher right you go to rarity again, you can see all the stuff. That's what I have. That's all I got because that's all the quirks or perks or whatever. I don't even know how to gain all this stuff yet, but that's all I got, right? So all I got is right there, right? So right now my guy is set as a second baseman. I want to be a shortstop, but I can't. I don't have the stuff. So we're going to exit out of there. We're going to go to view program. Now this is where I'm a little bit, I'm starting to understand a little bit more. You can see right here, you need to actually get up to level 100 to switch your archetype. I'm assuming that means we'll be able to pick a little bit more of what we can do at that point, right? But you can see right here, you get some stubs. I mean, 250 stubs isn't gonna do a whole lot, but you get perks and perks help you out quite a bit. Perks are these things right here. I got speed and contact on my guy. But you go ahead, you can go ahead and look at the view program here. This is how you get it done. Road to the show, 24 plate appearance, some hits, stuff like that. You can see for 50 hits, you get 20 of them, right? The 20 of the reward. So that's 30, that's 35, that's 38. That is 40 total, right? 40 total for that. I'm going to go back to that. That's 40 total. So that only gets you to here. Right, so you gotta get the other 60 somewhere. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be in Diamond Dynasty. You can see right here for every hit. I don't know, that's not true. You get one hit in Diamond Dynasty, you get five. Three hits, you get three. That doesn't make, oh, this is repeatable, that's why. And then repeatable there, that's how you're gonna do it. But you can see right here for 10 hits, you get 20 and so on. So that's another 35 that you get from there. That's not repeatable, right? That are just 35 right there plus these that's five, you get repeatable for every five inning played and three hits, you get repeatable ones. Let's go check and see if that's repeatable here. Yep, it definitely is repeatable right there too again. So you just gotta keep on playing, you gotta keep on playing, you gotta keep on playing. Once you get up to 100, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to switch your archetype, which is important. But now, just to show you to make sure, he is already on my Diamond Dynasty team. He's automatically there. He's just there as a second baseman. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. Let's go to Diamond Dynasty and let's click uh let's click on my team manage squad let's go to second baseman you can see right here if you don't know who greg gagney is he's a long time twin long time ago he played shortstop for us that's who we've got i couldn't think of another name normally i'm kirby puckett but he's finally in the game so i don't have to pick his name but you can see he sucks my gagney sucks but I have no other choice. I have to put him in my lineup. I got to do some things. I got to try to get some things done. So we're going to throw him in my lineup right now. Uh, we're going to use the active lineup. There you go. We're, we're good to go, right? Um, and I, let's check and see what his secondary position is. He doesn't have one. He's zero years old too. That sucks. But, oh well. But anyways, that's a common question. That's at, uh, that's at least 
My question on how this worked, I couldn't figure it out. It took me a long time. And it took me like an hour to really kind of gauge everything and look at it. But that's how you deal the creative player. That's how you put them in your lineup. That's how you build them up. And hopefully at 100, we can get a different archetype and see what happens. But guys, that's the video. I hope this helped you. And if it did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, we're going no money spent. We're going crazy out here in, in MLB. I'll see you later.